Good afternoon, brothers. JK, your brother in this struggle here. Today, I'm going to talk about why masturbation is not that big a deal. Oh my God. What, JK? What is happening? Did you relapse? <laughs> no, I did not. I'm bringing this up because some of you are familiar with the term trial rebooter, okay? So a trial rebooter is a brother who enters the porn reboot system and he really wants to end his behavior but he keeps being sabotaged because he has a belief that one day he's going to be able to view pornography and to masturbate in moderation. And this is a big problem. Here is the reason why. There are some men who it's okay for them to masturbate after they have rewired your brain. Now, this isn't the case for every man. There are some men who they're just not going to be able to do so. They will be able to have sexual release, they can have sex, but there's some men who, no matter what happens, if they masturbate, they put themselves at a very, very serious risk for a full-blown relapse. There are other men who, not so much, it's not that big a deal. Can I answer the question if you ask me in the comment section, show JK, am I one of those men? I don't know if you're one of those men. You actually have to go through the reboot process or you have to go through the recovery process if you're not in the porn reboot system to learn about yourself. But when it comes to trial rebooters, there are these guys who, they're really worried. They're worried that, man, you know, I know JK said that I shouldn't think or I shouldn't hope that I'm going to be able to view pornography in moderation or masturbate in moderation, but you're so attached to it, right? You're so attached. You're just like, oh my God, but it's, that sounds like a huge sacrifice. That means never masturbate again. That's not what it means. What it means is that you shouldn't hold the belief that you will be able to masturbate or view pornography in moderation during your reboot. You need to let go, completely let go of pornography and masturbation to the best of your ability during the time that you're rebooting and focus on the reboot process. Focus on fixing the issues in your life learning how to manage emotions, if there's some unresolved issue, figuring out what it is, learning how to manage your stress, changing your environment, fixing various areas of your reboot capital, such as your social life, if you're living in isolation, or whatever else you're dealing with. But during that time, you have to be able to let go, completely let go of your current attachment to sex, masturbation, and pornography. You have to, because you do not understand what moderation is. You don't. On a logical level, you might be like, yeah, I think I know what moderation is. But how can somebody who is addicted to pornography, who tells themselves that, oh, oh I'm going to watch just one scene of this, and I'm going to watch porn for one minute, but you end up spending 45 minutes to two hours, you know, five tabs later, watching some shit that has nothing to do with your sexuality, how can such a person truly, truly conceptualize what moderation with pornography and masturbation is? How can they do that? There's only one way to do that. You have to rewire your brain. To rewire your brain, you have to let go of everything that you know about pornography and masturbation and relearn what healthy sex is, what intimacy is. This is what you must do first. Once you do that, and once your brain rewires, allow your brain to do it for you. You will know when the time comes. Sometimes you will need a little bit of guidance. Sometimes you're not going to be sure. You may need to speak to a therapist. You may need to speak to your recovery coach. But for the most part, you will know what intimacy is. There are some things that we are naturally created with. Like we have the ability to be intimate. There are some men who might need a little bit of work because something traumatic happened to them. I'm not a big fan of this thing where people say like, you know what, at the end of the day, it's all a root cause and it's all some traumatic bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. That is not the case for every man. Gentle reminder, some dudes were just absolutely fine till they got exposed to high-speed internet pornography, started using it to medicate something, all right? So if you speak to somebody who's like, we need to find out what the trauma is, tell them to go fuck themselves. I'm very serious, because that should not be the first thing they do. That takes a long time, that takes a lot of expertise. Let them fix your boundaries and the other areas of your life first, 
then you can figure out whether there's something else. But you need to stop masturbating right now. It's usually people who have no freaking clue how to help you. They really don't know how to help you. They're like, I don't know how to stop people from viewing pornography. Why? Because they've never dealt with the problem before. Those are the type of people who are like, bro, let's go for that root cause. Why? Because while they're going for the root cause and you keep slipping, they're like, yeah, it's trauma. You know, it's trauma. That's why you're slipping. It's the trauma. It's, it happens. It's uncontrollable. It comes up at a time that you, you know, you just never know. You never know what's going to trigger your trauma. Now, I'm not making fun. I don't mean to anyway. I don't mean to make fun of anybody who's struggling with PTSD or who has had a traumatic incident and who slips as a result of that. The point I'm trying to make is that it's exaggerated for the most part, right? I've worked with literally thousands of men and it's usually never the case. So the point of this video, because I went off tangent again, is that gentlemen, don't worry about moderation now. When you go into the reboot process for your first 90 days, that's what we do in our program. We're like, don't worry about it. All you need to focus on is letting it go. Sure, you'll slip sometimes, come back to letting it go. And as you build up other areas of your life, you develop coping strategies, you'll come to realize naturally through the reboot process that there are other things which are more fulfilling than pornography, sex, and masturbation. I know, shocking, right? There are other things. We have a process, we have a system that leads you to that realization, that leads you to having this experience of joy within yourself, where you're just like, why would I want to ruin this with pornography? Why would I want to ruin this with some shitty release of opioids, which only lasts for like a couple of seconds? And the price I pay is days of fatigue, mind fog, and just generally feeling like shit. It's not worth it. So don't worry about moderation. Jump into the porn reboot system. Now, later on, naturally, you will come to a point where you just realize, okay, there's a time to masturbate. An example would be, a man who gets to the maintenance stage of his reboot or the late stage of his reboot and he begins to see the difference between his natural sex drive and an urge that is an important marker in the reboot process right so you get to a point this might be a little bit advanced i'll say it anyway because who knows who's watching the video right there's some of you guys who've made a lot of progress from using our system or from using other systems you get to a certain point where you, you don't have that question anymore you're like, this is natural and this is healthy. If you're still asking yourself that question all the time, well, what's the difference between my natural sex drive and an out of control behavior? It means you're not using a system. Because guys figure that out. They can tell there is a difference. You know when you have worked on the other areas of your life, you know that automatically when you experience stress, you're like, I already have a coping strategy for this. Right? I already have this, I already have this, I already have this. So if I'm just sitting down chilling and suddenly within me there's this urge that arises or if I'm on a date with a woman and I just really like connecting with her, I like the way she laughs, we hold hands and suddenly I have this thought of having sex with her or suddenly I experience an erection. I'm not freaking out going like, oh my God, oh my God, I was super triggered by this girl. I didn't do anything. I came back and I masturbated and it's the end of the world. And your therapist is like, yes, 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 yes. You shouldn't do that. Like that is very unhealthy. You were, you were objectifying her. You shouldn't have, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. All right. God, this wasn't going to be a rant. I was just running some errands. <laughs> I obviously have a problem with people being led astray. Okay. I don't like it. Right? I want men to understand what healthy sexual behavior is. I want men, those who are able to, unfortunately, I'm just for clarity, I'm not one of those men, right? I'm not one of the men who can just masturbate in moderation, right? I masturbated way too many times. Let's just put it like that. There were times I would masturbate eight to 12 times in a day. And that part of my brain, although I don't know over the past decade or so, but I do remember when I was two to three years into my reboots, that was when I learned this lesson. I learned like, JK, you just, moderation doesn't work for you. And so the only other option I had was to have a very healthy sexual life, right? It was to have a life where I could have sex often, healthy, intimate sex, in this case, in a relationship, right? So 
I'm not one of those men. But I'm also not close-minded enough to start assuming that my situation is the same as other brothers. There are many brothers who have gone through our program and they still masturbate, albeit once in a while, because they understand that that's not going to lead to a slip, it's not going to lead to a relapse, and they experience a lot of relief. There's no repression. There are a lot of guys who follow things like NoFap or work with certain coaches who don't know what the fuck they're doing or work with certain religious programs or go to 12 steps and they end up being repressed. Repression leads to erectile dysfunction as well. There are a lot of men who are like, oh my God, I think I have PIED. Maybe you don't have PIED. Maybe you're just sexually repressed because you never masturbated. You never had sex. And every time you had a wet dream, no matter how many times I fucking say, like a wet dream is not a relapse, you still felt guilty about it. And you never took the time to learn a coping strategy to deal with that guilt or to change that limiting belief that you had. By the way, those are things we work on in the porn reboot system as well. So my point at the end of the day is that if you're rebooting and you slip, first of all, it's not a big deal. If you're using our system, we'll show you how to gain control of it. Of course, there's a time when we don't expect you to do that anymore and we have that timeline within our program. And if you're a man who has made great progress in your reboot and you're in the late or you're in the maintenance stage, and you masturbate, it's not a big deal either. So brothers, this whole hard mode, you should never slip, semen retention, this shit is absolutely unrealistic. We have men in our program who don't masturbate, who don't have sex, and who don't view pornography. And they're okay with that because that is their lifestyle and I do not judge them for that, right? So before you argue with me about it. Some brothers like to argue about this stuff. Make sure that whomever you're using as a case study, even if you are a case study, has stayed off porn, masturbation, and any sort of sexual activity for over three years. And show me the man who is not repressed in some way or the other and did not want that specifically as his lifestyle. All right? All right, cool. Now the rant is like getting out of hand, so I'm gonna stop here. I'm at my destination. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. If you have any thoughts, drop them in the comment section. Masturbation, not that big a deal. Talk to you later.